just come back and just again come, you know, get him centered. I won't really watch that breath. Big breath. That's it. That's a good. Very good. And I'll just let him breathe that one without doing anything. Creating some kind of gentle rocking just to keep all that energy that we've stirred up moving mm -hmm. and coming out. Yeah. That's why I say you don't want to you don't want to build it up where you've stirred up all this energy but it's not coming out. That'll make the person feel you know. Real bit, shitty. Yeah, kind of just shitty. More movement there. And that's going to relax his mind. The more we can get him into this deep breath breathing, it's going to just put him into another zone. I've had people go into the zones, they, they've even stopped breathing. Oh, and they've wow. actually left. They, were in, they told me they were in this other amazing world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One guy in Poland I was working on, and he went out, he stopped breathing, and his wife was there, and, he, and his wife freaked out. And she made him come back in. Oh. He's like, oh, what are you doing? I was in such a nice space. You, know? <laughs> you can't just leave me. And it was a bit, it's a bit weird for me, too, because I haven't seen that, where they just stopped breathing for like a minute or two. Oh, wow. And I was like, I hope they're not dying, you know? And they were actually in a beautiful, you know, you can beautiful get people euphoria. into this. Yeah. Yeah. So, but that's a kind of what we're looking for in a sense of getting people into a really deeply relaxed space, you know, with the mind and the brain wavelengths and everything. It's like a deep meditative going right into their core. Yeah. Big breath. Come on, he's tough, he's tough. <sighs> You can see it's just within the normal anatomical range of motion like that. Well. So we're just watching and letting all that energy flow. Yeah, you can see it. You can see you? it. Like, yeah. Now you can see how his neck is starting to actually move. You know? So, and that's in Ayurveda, we have what we call the Shashumna, which carries the seven chakras. So, 
we're wanting that energy flow there. And in Chinese medicine, the, the governing vessel and construction vessel. So there's these, these central energy channels, and it's starting to open. Yeah. And that's a lot to do with consciousness because it's relating to the brain and the spine as well. Yeah. And you can see he's just... Yeah. And, and, and as he goes into that deeper state, the whole body starts to let go. Yeah. And that's why it's so, you know, we focus on that as well. And the rest of it should be easy. Oh, the yawns. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This will give him many more years of life, I think. Yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and it's so much like mental stress too. Yeah, so. yeah, that's right, the mental stress, that's right. So we want to bring him out of his head and into his belly. Yeah. So that he's calm and his mind is just in the present. You know. Yeah. And big breath. You know, more so than just thinking about ooh, the physical body and the tension. We want the, the energy body, the spirit to be centered and calm in his heart. Straight away, Straight away right? Wow. Yeah. yeah, and that's why I say it's the, you know, oh. I mean, these weren't going at all, and I haven't touched the area. I haven't even done chopsticks, but it's the the micro and the macro picture we got to look at, and that's why I say look at his consciousness yeah. now. He's just, you know, <laughs> he's like he's in that space, you know, yeah. Yeah. and that's oh, oh. same, you know. Yeah, good so stuff. so it's that interconnectedness of the spirit, the mind, the body. Yeah. and how it all works together. And that's where opening up this Shoshona, that I was talking about how the neck relates to control. Mm -hmm. Just had a big court case about it two, a week ago, finally. How'd you go with it? It was very interesting. A whole, I, I could do about five videos talking. It's a two-day court case. Oh, God. Yeah, so. But they've defined it as taking, they've currently, they changed the Queensland laws. Because they used to define it as high velocity, low amplitude, and then their 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 physiotherapist, that was an expert witness, tried to say I was doing that at first, and he he changed his mind and said it was high velocity, high amplitude, because I took them there. So they changed the Queensland law to make it that taking the joint beyond its normal anatomical range of motion. Oh. That's why I said I'm staying within the normal anatomical yes. range of motion. <laughs> I can't yeah. that, I mean, I was, yeah, that's let's Yeah, because they probably watch this video too, you know? Oh, how, how loose is it that they watch all the videos? Yeah, yeah. yeah, of course they will. Yeah. So, yeah. but it was very interesting. Very interesting. So we'll just stretch. And again, now look at his shoulder. Look at the opening up factor that's going yeah. on through his chest here. Yeah. And you can see there's a little bit of a, a, you know, shrinking, a little bit of a dip in the energy field here. Um, you know, so there could be some sadness or something with the heart, you know, yeah. longer term or whatever, with the depression or, we don't know, but there's something going on there. And that's again, we want to open this up so that he can get the energy flow through here and again come out of his mind where the stress is, be centered in his body and especially in his heart down here, which is his power center and out of the mind and peacefulness yeah. and also in his heart, yeah. you know, and feel the difference in his tummy now. 
Yeah. It's oh, getting there. It's getting there, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So, so now I'm thinking that I can see a lot of congestion in his hips, and I'm thinking maybe some side twists, and let's get him roll over. And we'll awesome. do also his back clicking. 